Hi guys, welcome back to Pirates of the Burning Sea with R. Maybe Grey and Jake. I can't even speak now. <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, well, long as you can sail. <laughs> well, after the last episode, we've spent all week recovering my ship from the bottom of the sea. <laughs> um, yeah, that was not the funnest of salvation jobs. Well, but, uh, you get to put your sails up and let's go in. Let's see if you can redeem yourself. Uh, let's try and see what happens. Uh. Da -da -da. Am I singing Here so, Comes uh, a Bride? <laughs> I'm now into a Stralsen and I have no idea why you're singing that. <laughs> I'm the low man on the totem pole, so I'll take the. Uh, bottom of the pole position. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, you can just, these guys are only in their 40s, I think, so you can split them if you want, bro. Just sail between them both and hit them with both your broadsides. Yep. Nice having two decks of guns now. No, that of three. What was that about three? I'd rather have three decks of gun guns. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, I can't speak tonight. Don't be greedy. There you go. Somebody can grab that. So have I redeemed myself then? Well, it wasn't much of a dodge. We could hit a three pack. Well, yeah, she did. <laughs> but yeah, well, you didn't sink, so I guess so. But you could <laughs> dice, so that'd be good. I already have. Oh. Gray's a practice then. Yeah, so don't accuse me just because I saw you going to accuse well, me of everything that it's usually, usually a safe assumption. <laughs> Alright, oh, look, our 50 is right behind us, so I'll turn around and hit him. Way to take one for the team, bro. <laughs> All, right, All right, so we're heading west. West. There's a, There's a couple of them. Of bus. Couple fifties right here. We're gonna hit. I'll have to try and get the wind on them, but we're, we should be okay in those zones around here, other than the one to the east of us. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess we'd already had the map flip when we recorded last, hadn't we? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, because it was was it not in the middle of the peace treaty? Right. But it had just come out. One of the two. Just getting the attacking in here you see how I'm, I'm looking at his wake and making sure I'm upwind of him so that when I turn to hit him I'll be upwind of him but you guys can just sail straight at him because I'll be getting the wind on him already am I'm. I'm practicing follow the leader man <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good skill to have and you don't want to follow a murderer Okay, so when you look at these ships, 
uh, you see how hey, always make sure you check them so what do you see there brew when you're looking at those two ships Hercules and uh, frigate and do you see anything special about them yeah one's an elite good so, so which one do we kill last the non elite one no, no we kill wait. the elite last the reason for that is it has 3% higher armor, so it takes that much longer to kill it. Meanwhile, its cannons are just beating the hell out of you. So it, it's better to kill the other one first because we can get them out of the game faster. Should I be turning and chasing them right now, Matt? Nope, you can split them. You're in a Stralzen. Nearly a dead Stralzen. Well, just, um. You gotta Look at my skills, get them on here. please. What's that? Look at my skills. Do a point here. Yeah. <laughs> See, personally, I prefer to use my skills before I use the repair patch. Well, I prefer. This is just me. Well, they'll go at me for it, but I prefer to use the the hull patches for small ones and the skills for more severe damage because it obviously takes longer for the skills to regen. Hey, yeah, that's just me. Personally, what I like to use first is repair under fire because that usually when you start taking damage, you're um, like on the nose when you're going in, see you took some structure damage. So if you'd use repair under fire, it would also fix that hull damage too. Oh, wow. And okay. It repairs 15% over three minutes, so it's a really slow repair. So basically, it's like running a heal over time. Okay. I didn't realize that. Mm hmm. And um, so then as soon as I start taking more damage, I like to use Rebuild, because that's 27.5% over 30 seconds. So that's more of a direct heal, it's like a heal potion or a splash potion in most games. Um, where the other one's a heal over time. Yes. And then I use the whole patch, just kind of at the end of that, because, well, the skills cost nothing to use, and I'm frugal. Which I'm sure you can identify with you know, Scott, because I has got blood too. Yes. And we're cheap. No, frugal, not cheap. Frugal. There it's, you go. It's a virgin, not a vice. <laughs> Probably mean to ask you, Gray. Did you find Jenny Iron Brew then, Matt? Because you were going to try to find some. No, I didn't get a chance to get over there yet. I still got it on the agenda, and we're, we're going to get over <laughs> there, but we haven't done it yet. It's on the to do list. Yep. It's on the bucket list, man. <laughs> just looking at the loot here before I roll. I always just dice. So, you'll notice we uh, when we sink an elite, we get a lot of extra stuff. I love killing elites. Just having a look around. Oh, there's a four pack of 50s, but if we're not going to hit threes, I don't think hitting four <laughs> is a great idea either. We could do it, but mm, it's a longer battle than we want, I think. Longer battle oh. or shorter episode. <laughs> well, once we have three Stralsons, um, we could probably take that, no problem. As it is, if I see any three packs of 50s, we might just hit them anyway. Uh oh. Oh, there's two of them coming up um, southeast of us. They're 
picked up the current, so I'm gonna go over there like a shot. Zoom. Look at all the shit here. Wow, it's a convention. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing they don't all jump in when I attack that one, eh? Uh oh. Oh, thank God. Okay, nothing special about this group. As soon as Gray gets here, um, I'll lead this one in, Brew. Since I'm sitting I'm in front coming of you in now. I overshot it. <laughs> and I've redeemed myself. Okay. What did I come I'm into? Because uh -oh. <laughs> there's nobody here. Okay, well, just try and run. And there's a French merchant in? What level are they? It looks like just one ship. Mm -hmm. It's a level 44. Yeah, okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, you could kill it if you want to. What ship is it? O-L-P-H-A... Uh, o -L -L oh, an Oliphant. Yeah, 52 guns. Yeah, you probably want to run then. That's what killed me. You could do it, but uh, it's just not worth the Thank you. Yeah. I'm sailing along here with no buffs going or anything, and I keep forgetting to put that stuff on my bar now. I should put it on your bar. It is extremely important. Mm, yeah. It's just that if you drag it on your bar in battle, it often toggles it on. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I was just getting my own back for what you've said to me off off screen. Okay, so now how can you possibly be looking for revenge when I'm trying to teach you how to survive? <laughs> okay, so the key to this is not to engage at all. It's just to make the run to the to the exit point on the map, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, and if if you can get out of uh, distance or out of range fast enough. Uh, if you're out of combat, like nobody's shooting you for uh, five minutes, I think it is, then you'll uh, be able to just exit without getting to it, having to go to an exit point. Okay. Sorry, mate, but he was gonna uh, be in the behind. Action. So I'm not even sure what happened there because I obviously hit the ring on somebody's battle and it let me enter the battle, but there's nobody here but me. So I'm not sure what went down on that situation. Well, you might have just clicked uh, a ship on top of it or something. I'll have to watch our video and then I can tell you what happened. Yeah, so those of you that are watching my view, uh, this is how you uh, <laughs> get out of a bad situation. <laughs> this is situation. how you run like a little girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull up your pantaloons and go. <laughs> Boy, Boy, these guys do not want to give up. We just finished this battle. Yeah. Grab that for, uh, we can come into yours if you want. Then you can just turn and kill us. Okay, well, thing. it's showing that I can exit the encounter now, so. Okay, just wait a sec. Yeah, see that? Uh, anyone who's watching my screen, when I went to click on that, that battle, I got the Pirate Hunter instead. So, uh, let me see. Yeah, it shows you alone in a 44, so if you put up a flare, we'll come in. And then we'll teach that guy to con you. Alright, there we go. Wow. Who's on the way?
So go ahead and turn back on him now. Yep. I don't want to scare anybody, but it's Brew to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Tip man to the rescue with Rue kind of tagging along behind. I got your back. Hey. Way you know back. Is my, <laughs> my ship should be much slower than yours, Rue. You should be zipping right along here. Right, and? I think he hit me I'm once with, with that. Okay, it looks like you're getting faster now. I think he hit me once with that volley. <laughs> You can use your tack on wind to go faster too, because we've got the wind behind us. I turn it off as soon as I start open fire though, because that eats up morale. Oh, didn't he have defense on? Even I had that on. Yeah, I think I'm just having one of those days where I just derp. You're having a brew day. Turn back this way, don't run him away. You want to get involved, do you? Well, okay. If you want to kill him yourself, you can. Well, I would like to get some revenge on this ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we leave this battle, i got to remember to put that stuff on my hopper. Okay, so from, from my view of this, this entire battle, you watch me run like a little girl, then you watch me turn around and pretend that I didn't run like a little girl <laughs> and still not get there in time to do anything. <laughs> no, you're bait. That's what you are. <laughs> now, did you get XP for that? Yeah, 233. No, well, then, then it's win. Eat that, you. Okay, yeah. so my... Thanks. All right, so... Thanks, mates. You're welcome. For anybody, we actually planned that. There's a lone 50 right here. Is that the wrong type of pirate? No, I was just getting my hotbar set up. I wasn't right on him, but I wanted to grab him before that other guy got him. Because I'm a jerk. I'm a corn cob, as they say in Farm Sim. <laughs> cob of corn, whatever. <laughs> Couldn't have hit it any worse. Mm, that's fine, it's downwind, isn't it? I just really want there, to There, I'll give you a turn bonus. Your belly again. <laughs> and an acceleration bonus. Take your bonuses and shut up. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> I don't have to take this from you. I will call my union in. You do have to take it. You're a pirate. I will get my revenge. Does anybody took up me up on my offer yet? Hit man and try to sink you. Yeah, well, they won't know how to sink. I've got like 20 accounts and multiple characters on every account, so how are they going to know who to sink? Okay. I hardly even play this guy. But I do go sailing through the BP zones with this. I'm not terribly worried about it, so. You just know you're going to The opportunity is there. Safe. Remember you should repair skills. Why? He's dead already. Grab that <laughs> one if you want grey. I just really wanted to say that. All right. Make sure they're not on cooldown. Just so you know, by doing that, Gray or Gray, um, Brew, you're gonna dig yourself into a deeper hole. Because then, know. as soon as you get sunk again, guess what? 
<laughs> Food? I'll be... What the heck? I can't even speak to me. Yes, you said that a few times. But you can say that. <laughs> Jeez, I saw 50 go by, but no, a couple of 40 is kind of low. Ah, well, we'll just hit along 50. He's just coming out of the PvP zone ahead. Oh, yeah, we might see some ults on the way down there. So, by killing a... Uh, oh, I thought they had British points here. Oh, never mind then. Hey! I just saw something. What do you mean when I sink next? Because it'll be you that sinks next? How do you know? Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's got a crystal ball on his chip. <laughs> I don't need a crystal ball. <laughs> Maybe quite offensive. You think it'll be me that automatically will sink next? Gray's turn to lead this one. So that uh, message that came up is for port battle. I'm not scared. There, I gave you a hat. <laughs> gives you extra defense. So that is a skill that every, we should all be looking to get. It's called Protect. And what that does, it's an ally buff. So what that does is for three minutes, it increases your defense by six. Oops, sorry about that, I didn't want to turn because I didn't want to send my stern into the, your bow and then we have a train wreck and Gray would be over there all by himself and my prophecy would not be fulfilled because he would die instead. I'm sorry Gray, but I hope that happened. <laughs> what a meanie. I'm just going to zip by you now that you fired. Hey, you can stop there, bro. Okay. Got room to see, uh, come to you? Nope. I'm in gray. I'm good. Okay. Don't tell him, man. What, that you haven't fired a shot yet? I'm moving. <laughs> Not here. I'll, I'll keep to move. I meant just sit behind him. I was gonna, but I was just getting in a position that I could actually shoot. Good, good. That's using an initiative. That's a good thing. We'll have you whipped into a proper piratey captain frame of mind here someday, bro. No, probably not. Buddy, you giving up? <laughs> you gonna give up? Fine then. Coming from me. Nope, we well, still got a chance. Get him, Gray. Okay, I'm firing. Go ahead. What now, am I? Nope, nope. Old greedy guts did. No comment. So we've had comments from um, one of our viewers that we are making the game look boring because we're not PvPing. And there is obviously more to the game than what we're showing you. We're not showing you economy either. Uh, we're, what we're doing is showing you what you'll be doing the majority of while you level up. So there's a whole big economy and there's a big change coming out actually, there's a big patch coming um, shortly which will start changing the economy even from what it is now and it's even kind of daunting now so it's going to be even more difficult to learn I think. Which is yeah. good because those of us who are really in the economy stuff like complex stuff so that'll, I mean, just to do the economy in this game you need a huge spreadsheet. And I've just done that. Well, it's that new big spreadsheet's gonna be out the window now. 
Well, I've just changed my economy all over, as you know, on my off-screen character. And, oh, it's been a nightmare to try and work it all out. Yeah, and you got one, and I've got 20, so... Yeah, I know what you're saying. <coughs> yeah, but the difference is I've got more on one character than you do on your one, if you know what I mean. Nope, I got 10 on all of mine. <coughs> or uh, 10 of mine, anyway. I've got over 100 <coughs> bots on uh, paid oh, accounts. And... Okay, excuse yep. me. Okay, I apologize. Mm. So, there's two 50s here to our, our west. I don't know if we'll get them in time or if they're going to dock or what, but we'll try and get them. French merchant convoy. There's two elephant master crafts. So, I'll try and get wind on them. Do you see the one I'm sailing towards? Well, there's a... A flagged pirate. Flagged <coughs> pirate? Yeah, he's uh, flagged for PP. I don't know if it's the same, but it used to be when you're, you flag yourself and then you can sail faster. You know, when you you go to the dock and you talk to the guy that enables your PvP flag? That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Oh, cool. Even I don't understand PvP yet. I haven't even got that far. Alright, Brew, you want your revenge. Here you go. An Oliphant Mastercraft and an Oliphant Heavy, and the Heavy is Elite. Here, I'll move ahead so you can get by behind me. Um, do we still have them salvage boats on hire? <laughs> well, just get in there and quit your belly aching. So, as soon as you start taking damage on the nose and you see your structure, you know which part where, you, where to look to see how much structure you have, right? Uh-huh. When you see that starting to go down, pop that, um... What's it called? Uh, repair under fire skill, and that'll yeah. start repairing your your hull. You don't need to do it yet. And uh -huh. then it'll also give you kind of repairs on your armor as you start taking damage. But you won't need to do that until, okay, when the other one opens fire on you, you'll probably take structure damage. Maybe. We're gonna split them? I am. Good, good. Right, so now you want to pop your repair under fire skill. I already have. Okay. And, uh... Alright, keep going. Go as fast as you can. You want to get between them so they stop shooting you in the face. Yep, and I am make trying sure that. They don't Okay, you want to start coming right. I ain't okay, coming so right yet. Keep, uh, just keep sailing. Yeah, okay, this is not looking good for you. Yeah, I just did everything you've told me to. Uh, yeah, but what you want to do is split them, so... Just keep sailing straight a bit. Don't let them sit on your stern. I'm getting a bit of deja vu here. Well, have you used your repair skill? The uh, plug yeah. weeks, I think it's called? Rebuild. Maybe it's rebuilt. Yeah, it's rebuilt. I'm using it now. Okay, stop. You're uh, going too far away here. See, now he's switching aggro to me, which means he'll turn around and give you his fresh broadside, so... Alright, so just don't move and I'll come over to you. Hopefully he doesn't turn more. I gotta try and pull him back. There we go. Yep, we're doing fine. See? There you go. Totally redeemed. You were worried too. You thought I was gonna get you killed. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Well, what would have gotten you killed is if you'd stopped and let him shoot you in the face, and that's what happened last time. Yeah, but I didn't stop this time. Exactly. That's Even though you okay told me not to. Good, good. Yeah. 
his ass, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now take out your... your revengeance on this guy. So, when you get within 100 yards, you have a skill called Target Officers. It's one of the tutorial skills. That one is fairly useful. I mean, it, it reduces the turn rate by 3%. Which isn't a lot, but in a game of numbers, every little bit helps, right? I'll let you go ahead of me, Gray. I ain't moving, Mickey. Yeah, well, don't bother shooting his offside. So, turn um, turn right, come across, and shoot him in the stern. See, right now my side is down, and I could repair, but I'm not gonna waste it because he's gonna be dead in a second anyway. See, you can grab that one if you want, whoever. I got it. Good. Oh, that's a piece of cake. But you can see how crazy it gets for three of them if we hit three like that. And that was a good way to finish our episode. So, next episode we may go and do some missions we'll, or look at economy or something. We'll do something different this time. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll get Gray up to at least 25 for his trolls in, and, and we'll see how it goes. Now we have a short addendum here to add to the end of our video. We've sailed back to our harbor, and for the last 10 or 15 minutes, we've been sitting here yakking, and uh, we've come to a few conclusions about this series. We are going to do some different stuff. We've got higher level characters that are not on, like you have not seen here, our off screen characters. So we're going to do a few different things. We're going to maybe, uh, like I've got a character that has a, a treason line ship for fleeting, and these guys, they're, they're level 30-ish characters. So we're going to jump ahead and do some stuff there, uh, some extra fleeting, and we're basically going to wind this series up, I think. There's not a lot of other multiplayer stuff we can show other than PvP, which... Uh, due to the logistics of our times, uh, it's not going to work very well for us. So we'll be winding up the series and we're looking at probably Star Trek Online next. So I'll give you guys an opportunity to say, make any comments you would like to make. Nothing? Yeah, nope. I, uh, Bueller? I just want to say uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed the game, but uh, yeah, we, we just want to... Uh, showcase it and I think we've done a good job at that yeah I mean none of us I don't think will leave the game we'll still play it but just not be recording I think or right. no, I will be so there is more to the game like the PvP aspect uh, where you take your ships and you can go out and go to port battles which would have been awesome to show but unfortunately we just couldn't do that right now maybe um, maybe one day we might be able to that's true, maybe at some point. Uh, the port battle's kind of neat, it's a 24 versus 24 uh, players, um, and the winner basically gets the port, so that's kind of interesting. Um, we're at a disadvantage as pirates, but oh well, that's, that's the game, is if you're a pirate, you're disadvantaged right from the start. <laughs> um, the economy, we didn't really show anything on the economy here. Um, it is very complex, and there are some big changes coming to that, so that might be interesting to look at, too. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely more to the game than we've shown, but we've shown what what it's like pretty much leveling up. That's the way you do it. Do missions and do fleeting. So with that, we'll call her an episode, and we'll be back again, probably on higher level characters, doing, uh, doing some fleeting there with big, big ships. Yeah, yeah. It should be fun. <laughs> So I'll see you next time. Bye, Take guys. Care.